And we're back on air. Welcome back to WSJU you Radio with your host, Intro Dark Kev. Today, we have a very special guest dropping his like bunny hop, G's bop, no hook, and much more. D thing in the building. All right. He knows what's going on. Word. How was the drive here? How was, how was it getting here? Regular, regular. They know what's up. Right, so, where did you grow up in New York? The Bronx. The Bronx. What, yeah. So, what's the best spots to eat in the Bronx? You know, you got to recommend people. Uh, I don't, we don't really eat in the Bronx, feel me? If I want to go get some Spanish food or something, go to the Odd Block. No, really, feel me? I go to Harlem, eat, feel me? Shit like that. What? I don't really eat in the Bronx. Uh, Unless it's McDonald's or something. <laughs> All right, so who did you listen to when you was growing up? Dang. My older niggas, like, nothing really, like, famous. I wasn't really into music, like. Uh, I wasn't, like, feel me? So I only watched my older niggas rap and shit like that. All right, so what, what got you into the rap, then? What inspired you? My niggas, like, we what? all just did it together at the same time. Mm. All so my I'm, niggas. I have all the groups, like, who's the first person that, like, believed in you that you can make into the industry? Bandito! <laughs> I love you, my brother. What a gang. My son, Bando. What a gang. He, feel me? He brought us to the studio. We was all together. We did it. And we knew, like, feel me? We all knew that we could do it. So how did you come up with the name D-Thing? I, I was young. I was in school. My son, my son, mm. he gave me the name. He fake, he fake was naming all of us, but I ain't know like he was naming us over like the Chicago niggas and shit like that. I ain't know that. After I told him like years after I got my name in Shamla and shit, so I'm like, what the fuck? Like, why, why you gave me that name? He was like, cause nigga, the Chicago niggas were the gang. Nigga, I was like, oh, you got me dead. <laughs> yeah, that's what he said. But he gave it to me and shit like that. Word, my so, son. So you chose that to be a rap name, or did you choose something else before that? You, nah, that was my name. Like that was the whole the whole name. Yeah. yeah. All right. So you spoke, you spoke about like the Chicago drill. So you know you being part of the New York drill sound. Like, what do you think is better right now, New York drill or the Chicago drill? I like both, but I don't really listen to Chicago drill like that no more. Like, right. Lil Durk not on that time no more like that. Like he get on that time when he want to. Like, so like I don't that shit not really like clicking. I don't really know who really drill rapping over there right now. Like, right. You know and you speaking about Lil Durk, you know he changed into the melodic way. I heard that you you start you like the melodic way before first, and now you transition to the drill way. What <laughs> made you want to transition to that? Like, I don't know, like, like right now, you see how I'm a drill rapper, everybody know me for drill, right? They want me to switch it up, like, they want me to switch it up. I was that type of rapper, like, we just wanted to switch it up, like, we wanted to, all my niggas, we wanted to switch it up, we was all singing, we wanted to switch it up. That's how we did it, we switched it up, we drill rap, and that shit took us where we at now. So, would you ever go back to the melodic wave and leave the drill, or you think, you think drill will ever lose the hype, or you think it's always going to be there, Brooklyn drill? No, I think it's always going to be there. It's always gonna be there. It's always gonna be there. Are you gonna, are you gonna Just cause like I know I really like it. Like whatever I feel like I like, like I know the world gonna like. I don't know why. Like I feel like whatever I like, I know people gonna like. Right. Gangsta. So I know it's not gonna stop. So do you have like any singing songs or melodic songs coming soon, or is just right now you just riding off the drill? Stay tuned. Stay tuned. We are gonna get there, gangsta. <laughs> so um, I seen a lot of your songs. You represent RPT all the time. Yeah. Like, what does that mean to you? A lot. It's a lot to that. You heard? Respect, power, trust. Rough part of town, ready to pull triggers. You know, it's a lie, you heard. You know, they don't really know. Like, I don't really want to, like, feel me. It's RPT, you heard. <laughs> Where, heard so. Richmond Plaza Thugs. They don't know. They don't know. Chill. <laughs> Chill. They don't know. I ain't going to lie. All right, so, you know, watching your journey, you know, I saw, like, you're from your first song, Mac Talk, to now one of your most recent No, no, no. What, 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 yeah, that's what I wanted to ask you, Mac Talk. Like, what you mean by that? What song was that? It's on your SoundCloud. If you go on your I don't sound- got a SoundCloud. Like, all that is just leaked. Oh, it's all leaked? Leaked. I got a leaked SoundCloud. I got to get all those off. Everything oh, okay. is leaked. It's not me. So if you look up D-Thing on SoundCloud, yeah. like, it has, like, most of your recent songs. It has your name on it. Uh-huh. Which is, right now, I just figured out it's leaked. But in the beginning, it says Mac Todd, and it says D-Thing. Mm-hmm. So that wasn't on your first song. No, nah, that wasn't. That probably wasn't. My, my first song was not that. I so what was that. your first song? My first song was... <laughs> I don't got my first song. We ain't really name it yet. I don't know. It's called Now Drop. That's what it was called. Right. Now Drop. Me, Bando, T-Dot. All right, so from Gangsta. Now Drop to No Hook, how do you feel you grew as an artist? I grew a lot. I ain't going to lie. Everything. Bars, flow, like everything. Just everything. I feel like I grew a lot, like, gangster. What do you think? Now, like, before I used to, like, say a lot of people's names and stuff. Like, now it's clip for all that. Like, that's how I feel like I grew, like, feel me? What do you think is the most important, like, in the rap? Is the flow, the bars, or... Just to me? Yeah. The flow. Like, you gotta, like, you gotta have the flow. Like, the flow gotta be different. Like, feel me? Like, you don't really gotta, like, have some OD, like, OD bar. Like, that's crazy. Because you got some OD bar that's crazy. Like, that don't gotta flow. Like, that's cold. Like, feel me? 
You got a little, you don't even got to say a, uh, like an OD ball, say a little ball, but it got an OD flow, niggas going to jack that. Word. Gangsta. Word. That's, that's like, you know, we're going back to like, from you're from New York City, Bronx. Why do people think, why do you think people say like New York is the hardest place to come out of as a rapper? I always be saying New York, that's the hardest way to come out as a rapper. I don't know. I, I don't see it. You just got to work hard, you heard? Right. You just got to work. That's all you got to do. Like, you're you going to get there, you heard? Right. It's patience, you heard? Just work. It's not hard. So how you how do you feel like you can take this rap to a career? Was like the first 100K? Was like being posted on World Star? What, what was like, all right, I can turn this into like a whole career? What was the first thing? The first time when I know I could take this to a career? Like, when, like, it's when I got 100K, but, like, before I got 100K, like, niggas fake knew me. So, like, once once I dropped my song and I was, like, going viral, like, I see everybody, like, I had a lot of fans. Like, a lot of people want to take pictures with me. Like, wow, wish. Like, shit that never used to happen to me and shit like that. So I knew, like, now nah, this shit going, this shit different now. Like, can't be going places regular. A lot of people know me now. Like, right. this is, like, this is me now. Like, this is what I got. I got to become a different person. Like, you know what I mean? Like, so, you know, speaking about, like, fans coming up to me from now, before, like, four or five years ago, when you was walking around in Bronx, you dapping over your friends. Now, you walk in the Bronx, fans, you, like you said, taking pictures. How's that feeling then? It's good. Like, I like that. I like that. Like, but I don't like that, like, when I'm not, like, feel me? When I'm somewhere else, when I'm far, because, like, I'm a real street nigga. Like, I'm not, like, feel me? You can't just, oh, that's deep. I'm on your ass. Like, I don't, <laughs> like, I don't play that, feel me? But they know and shit. Like, I like that shit. I ain't gonna lie. That shit make me feel good. That shit make me want to keep going and shit like that. Like, I can't stop. Like, niggas really jack me out here. Like, I'm not gonna stop. And you said you've been working a lot hard, working very hard in your business. Like that. What processes do you do when choosing a beat style, choosing what flow? Like, what, what, kind, of, what kind of mindset do you get to when you're choosing those type of things, to elements to your songs? You said when I try to find a beat? Yeah, yeah. What type of process? Like, uh, what makes you like, I don't want to mess with that beat, I want to mess with this beat? Just got to look through all of them. I just got to look through whatever I like. Like, it got to be like, like, fuck what I say. Like, the beat got to be different. Like, the mm-hmm. beat got to go crazy. Like, it got to go crazy for me to hop on it. I got to, like, feel me? Like, I got to, you got to like the beat. If I, don't, if I don't like the beat, like, I feel like, feel me? Like, the song going to be trash. Like. And then, you know, you go on YouTube right now, you see D-Thing type beats. How you feel? Like, before you used to look up <laughs> other people's type beats. Now, you... Nah, that's a fact. That's love right there. I ain't going to lie. I appreciate that for a lot. I ain't going to lie. So. Gangsta. Being from New York, there's a lot of New York rappers coming out. Why should people listen to you compared to the next person? Cause, boy, y'all gonna listen to people that's like, like I'm real. What I say, like when they listen to me, like when I, if y'all listen to me, like everything I say is real shit. Like I don't cap nothing. Like y'all gonna listen to other people like that's capping. Like they just wanna be like me. Like, but they not me because they capping. Like what I'm saying is real shit. Like that's why like I feel like niggas should listen to me a lot because niggas be capping like real shit. Like. So real I, shit, like. And you speak the real shit, like. like real shit, like. <laughs> so you know, for everyone that's listening to right now, new listeners and all that, like, what like three songs do you have? You should recommend they should listen to you from your catalog. Bunny Hop, free my brother, man. That's my right hand. That's my muddy. I know that. BT that Bunny Hop. Go tune into that. Caution. I still going up. Go tune in. That's my first single. And and G's Bob, you heard? That's going viral. You heard? So you know. everything viral. So we seen collab with Moolah, you know, mm-hmm. came through. Mm-hmm. Yeah, go tune into that one too, too. I ain't gonna lie, go tune into Save a Part 1 and Part 2, yo. Shout out Moolah, 300. Gangster, you know what's up. Gangster. T.6, like, who else would you want to collab with? It's my brothers, with? like, really, like, whoever want to collab with me, you heard? Whoever want to collab with me, that's who I want to collab with. All right, and if people, all right, so speaking of that, people want to collab with you and all that, how much do you charge for a feature? People like, all I do is rap, you heard? I got to take that out with my managers. <laughs> I don't know nothing. Feel me? I'm, all I got to do is go to the store and rap, you heard? Take that out with my managers, you heard? All right, so what, what do you think is the biggest accomplishment do you believe in your music so far? What you mean? Say it again. Your biggest accomplishment so far as a rapper, what do you think it is? It could be anything. I know, I know. <laughs> just trying to think, like, what's the biggest accomplishment? Like, I don't know, like, still being here. Like, I'm here, like, I'm still here. Right. And nonstop, I'm here. Like, I'm here. Like, we're good. Like, that's my biggest comp. I wouldn't be here right now. Like, it's my biggest accomplishment is being here right now, today. Who was, like, the biggest artist or even a legend in the game that hit up, hit you up and, like, supported your music? Like, you were so proud of that. Oh, man, they really tuned in. I don't really know. I don't, I don't really care about that. I don't uh, know. 
No, it's all good. It's all good. So do you like to like <coughs> freestyle or you like to write your music? I, like if I get writer's block, I'm a freestyler. Like, I'm gonna finish it off like freestyle. Right. So, um, what has been your best experience so far as a rapper? Me and my, I don't really know. Like, have you traveled? Not yet. Yeah, gotta Not get yet. my ID and shit. Yeah. Get my ID soon. You heard? I'm <laughs> never gonna be in the Bronx again. <laughs> Out of here for good. You heard? Have you performed yet? Nah, I ain't yeah. perform yet. Not so really. once the pandemic's end, you're going to start performing on it? Yeah. We start, we start reaching out, you heard? We're not really reaching out and stuff like that yet. What Just is one waiting. place you want to perform for sure? Rolling Lounge. Rolling Lounge. Shit like that. I ain't going to lie. All right. I be seeing that shit. I be, feel me? I like that shit. I think all right. so. All right, so when you roll with your group, all that, who's the littest in your group? Like, if <laughs> he's there, it's a party. <clears throat> like, besides me? Besides yourself. Yo, Fima, yo, I ain't gonna lie, like, all my brothers in jail, like, that shit crazy, like, stun it all, like, my son stun it on geek, like, he really the life of the party, like, right. gangster. So, I see that chain glistening and all that, what does that mean, W-O-L-4? W-O-L-4. So, you gotta know, you all. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Feel me? So, what's up next for D-Thing? Singles, what's up next? visuals, projects. I got, I'm trying to do this single, like, just stay tuned, just keep, just feel me, just stay tuned, I'm trying to do this single, I'm going to do a single, you heard? Well, we got like an EP tape. Yeah, I'm going to get an EP soon, you heard? I might, I, I want to drop an album for an EP, I feel like I waited too long for an EP, I could sure the band did that, so now I feel like they need an album or something, like. Um, so, when choosing, when making an album, you know, what, mm-hmm. what, pro, like, what makes you, like, I want this song as an album and I don't want this song out yet, like. It just got to really bump, like, I got to, yeah. I just got to listen to all of them. I like I I be liking certain songs. I don't like all of them. I'm not gonna keep it fuck. I don't like some of them. I don't like all of them. Right. Like niggas be telling me like other people would like that. You don't gotta like other people would like that and stuff. But if I, I'm only gonna put it if I like it. Like if I like it, I'ma do it. So you have like any insights about the album or not yet? You're not even thinking about it. Not not right now, but I'ma do it all right, all right. for sure. So I would like this is all my last question. I always ask this question for everyone that comes through. What type of legacy do you want to have with the name D thing? When people bring up D thing, what should they associate with it? The fucking God Like I wanna be the fucking Like I don't know Like like a like a president Like gangster Like a president Like a mayor Everything Like you hear my name Just know no. <laughs> Just know Just know <laughs> Alright You know Thank you for coming through mm-hmm. WSJU Radio You know Where can people I find you I appreciate y'all too Y'all know that Gangster Where can people find you at What you mean Like, like on, on, on social media yeah. Apple Music Everything YouTube Instagram Everything you heard Every Saturday, I go to SoundCloud, it's not me. It's, right. not, it's not me. Everything on SoundCloud is fake. Wait, that's about it. Caught me a little bit. <laughs> <My fault. laughs> All right, thank you for tuning in. Yeah.